I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you are ready to listen. The pen is in hand. Let's go. This week is all about some holiday giving tips that you need to hear. Shh. Top secret tips about shopping and eating and gift giving. I've got it all for you. And it's next on Andrew Talks. One thing you need to know about holiday gift giving is that you will be shopping. Yes, you will be shopping. I don't care what you say, you're going shopping. And most likely you're gonna shop for some clothes. Whether or not it's for grandma, for your daddy, for your mama, for your little cousin Joey, you will be shopping at the mall or your local store for some clothes. Let me give you a few holiday tips that you can use throughout the year that will get you so much further in those retail stores. It's all about how to ask for help, okay? Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Do not go up to an employee at a clothing store and act a straight up fool. Number one, they are not your friend. They're not, they are not their, your friend. They don't know you, you don't know them. Unless your mom is working at the local Target, then that's the only reason how you should know somebody. So here is tip number one. Tip number one, don't act like they're your friend. They don't know you, you don't know them. So don't walk up to them and be like, Joey, how are you? Hey, I'm looking for... Uh-uh, it doesn't work like that. Be respectful and get your help you need. So say, excuse me. Hi there. Happy holidays. I'm looking for this. Do you know where that's located? Thank you so much for your help. Excuse me. Thank you. Have a good day. Those are the three things. Do you hear me? Excuse me. Thank you. Have a good day. I'm not trying to flick anybody off. The three things you need to say to an employee at a mall or retail store that will get you the most help. Manners will get you so far. Got it? All right. Tip number two. Let's go over to our mall and check out our clothes table. As you see here, beautiful, pristine, and perfect. This is not just for you. There are other shoppers who need to be looked at as well. So, number Two, don't be opening up the shirt, looking at it, then leaving it on the table like that. This, they don't need a display. If they need a display, they would put up a mannequin, okay? You are not no Tom Ford. You're no Gucci, okay? Don't be, don't be trying to make a display, some fashion statement that you don't know nothing about. Be respectful. Fold that bad boy up. like so and move on now if you're saying Andrew I'm not a good folder I don't even fold my laundry at home well then you need to stop unfolding the clothes period you just need to take a look and say hmm would uncle so and so look good in that mm, I don't think so tip number three if you know you only have $20 in your pocket, don't be looking at the $50 table thinking you're going to buy something. That is rude and unnecessary. So, again, $65. All I have is $40. Well, let me just see what it looks like. Don't be doing that. That is rude. That is rude. Especially because nobody wants your hands all over the $65 clothes and when you know you only got 40 That is rude. Stay within your budget and leave stuff well alone. Got it? Excellent. And finally, know your size. If you don't know if little cousin Joey has grown six inches since the last time you've seen him, make sure you call ahead. Call the aunts, call the uncles, call the cousins. Make sure you know everyone's size to the best of your ability. It's nothing worse than walking into a store saying, hmm, are they a medium or are they a large? Are they a 2X or are they a small? You need to know everyone's size before you get in there. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because it's disrespectful to walk up to a random stranger who's shopping who might have be ha who might be having a little weight issues due to the holidays because they have too many Santa cookies here, too much, too much turkey at Thanksgiving and say, hey, aren't you an extra large? Knowing good and well, all they are is a medium. That is rude and that could be hurtful. So make sure you know the sizes. Those are some gift giving tips and some shopping tips, some shopping tips that you're going to need this holiday season, especially with only two weeks to go. You're welcome. All right, my friends, my next holiday tip is all about gratitude. 
What's that you say? Gratitude? That's right, you heard me. Gratitude. Gratitude will get you so far throughout any time of the year, but especially during the holidays. And what you need to have if you're going to be grateful is, bam, a thank you note. Yes, indeed. This holiday season gets you a thank you note. You know, depending on how many gifts you need, that's how many thank you notes you're going to need. Even if it's some ugly, dingy, nasty looking sweater, great Aunt Myrtle crocheted for you for three and a half months, you're still going to need the thank you note. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Yes, you will. Okay, it's simple, it's easy, and it's just a great way to show that you really appreciate the gift. Now, what you put inside is up to you. It could just be a simple thank you, or you could really be heartfelt and, t and tell the person how much they mean to you and how much the gift meant to you. But if you're going to make it through this holiday season, you're going to need some thank you notes. Whether you're invited to a holiday party, whether you're given a gift unexpectedly, have some at the office, have some at home. Actually, put it on your holiday gift list that you want a gift of thank you notes. It'll get you so far. And believe me, when that birthday rolls around, when the next big holiday rolls around and you want a gift, you got one because you gave a nice, gracious thank you note. It's just a holiday tip from me to you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's what I do. Mm-hmm. More tips to come. All right, my friends, my last holiday tip, my last gift-giving tip is about, well, at least to be the most important thing at the holidays. Food. That's right, you heard me. Food, baby. I likes to eat. So I'm here in my kitchen with a tip or two to help you get through the holiday eating situation. Number one. If you love a certain thing at the holiday dinner table, don't be ashamed. It's okay. We all have our demons. Mine happens to be my mama's dressing. I can't live without it. I need at least a pan to myself. But if you know that you're having guests over who have the same feelings about your mama's this or your granddaddy's that, make a little extra for yourself. What? What the? What is that you say? Is that greedy? Is that being selfish? It's only selfish if they find out about it. So shh, shh. So for example, come over with me. Look what happened because you didn't want to be selfish. Look what happened to you this holiday. Come on, come on. Look, the pie is gone. Your favorite pie that Grandma Pauline makes is gone. Why? Because you did save a little extra for yourself. You didn't ask Grandma Pauline, hey, could you make me a, a, maybe a smaller pie version or something? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nope, you didn't. But since I am bright and already knew this tip, I saved some for myself. Take a look at this. Mm-hmm. So over here, what's that? It just looks like a festive tin. Oh, hmm. Just a festive tin, you say. Bam! Pie, mm-hmm. The pie that you wanted for later on, maybe December 26th or 27th. Uh-huh, I got it. <gasps> but you don't. So sad. So, so sad. So, I have no problem with fooling my holiday guests. I mean, there will be plenty of food for them to eat. But if you like a little extra something, make it or save it for yourself. It's just a holiday tip from me to you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's delicious. And it's a delicious tip, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, time for shout-outs and Real Talk all next on Andrew Talks. All right, my friends, it's time for the shout-out, shout-out of the week. And the shout-out go of the week goes to all of those hard-working people in the retail business. My goodness gracious, y'all have been working so hard. And these next two weeks are going to be painful. But I know you can do it. So shout out to everybody who's working retail this season. Good luck. Stay strong. Keep that positive attitude. Even when you get those crazy, obnoxious guests and you know who you are. You better not be one of those guests because now I gave you all those tips that will be helpful and you will make their day better and they can possibly make your day better. You got it? Excellent. So shout out to all of you. Alright my friends, it's time for the Real Talk! Real Talk moment of the week. And the Real Talk moment of the week, I bet you can probably guess, 
is remember the reason for the season. Yes, indeed. I know we talked about shopping and eating and all that fun stuff, all those tips, but remember the reason for the season. Whether you are religious and you think about Hanukkah and the lights and the menorah and what that means to you faith-based or whether it's Jesus's birth or whether it's something to do with Kwanzaa, um, which is not technically a religion, I know. But um, remember the reason for the season. If it, if you're not that religious space, and you said, Andrew, I, I don't get down without that religion. Well, then if it's just about being with family and friends, just remember the reason for the season for you. I'm not trying to put any beliefs onto you because you don't do that to me. So whatever the case may be for you, just remember the reason for the season. Try to be a little bit kinder this season. Try to be a little more loving this season. Maybe let the person get over who forgot to put on their signal on <sighs> try to make a left and they're all the way in the right lane whatever the case may be just be a little bit kinder be a little bit sweeter be a little more joyous this holiday season just remember the reason for the season okay do you got it excellent excellent all right that's the real talk real talk moment of the week all right my friends well it's already time to go i know i'm so sorry but you know what i always say make it great so go out there and have a great morning have a great evening have a great lunch just make it great and make your holidays great as well please go out make it great give great aunt myrtle a big old kiss from andrew okay you promise excellent Mwah. wonderful wonderful now i gotta get shopping because i haven't bought not now one gift yet for anybody on my list so i'm gonna hit them all but you guys have a great great week and i'll see you next week on andrew talks bye everybody is this a medium? Is this a... Mm. $65? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>